Welcome to video 136 in series 3, and now I'll make animations for the crowbar. Okay, so this is pretty simple, but uh, it's just really just trial and error. You just have to figure it out uh, as you're making it. You just make stuff up, basically. So crowbar idle, first of all. Now this is simple. It's just simply uh, the starting position and rotation. So just add the tr rotation property as well. It'll, I'll just make it put it about here. It doesn't need the beginning as well. Uh, and this will be just fine. So I can actually go ahead and play that and see that there won't be any issues. And it looks fine. Okay, so that's good. So let me just jump out of there. Go back to animation and make uh, the swing animation. So this one I'll call it uh, crowbar swing. Doesn't matter, you can call it anything. Okay, now this one, uh, let me add the rotation and position properties as well. And this one, I want it to be around like uh, 0.45 uh, so seconds long or so. And the end uh, should look just like the beginning, so that's right. Now at about point 0.1, I want it to tilt over on the screen to like over there to make it look like I'm about to begin the swing uh, with this. So let me just try some stuff out, see how it looks. Okay, yep. So like that, um, maybe a little bit of maybe a bit of Y rotation, perhaps. Uh, I think I need to move it a bit like that, maybe a bit like this. No, no, no not too much like that. Uh, move it like that. Yes, bring it back closer. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, is it tilted over enough? Maybe not. All right, what about this? Okay, maybe too much. So it's just, it's just really you just fiddle around with it till it feels about right. Uh, next, I'll make another animation keyframe about here. Now, this is where it should be swinging down, okay? So, what I'll do here is I'll uh, try... Uh, well, let me fiddle around with this one. Yep, good. Y is what I want. Now, I want it to be uh, a lot more down as well. So, which one is that? Is it Z? Yes, it's Z. Okay. So, something like that. A bit more, too. I want it to go out of the screen. So it looks like a really a fast swing. Um, do I want to move its Z direction anything much? No, probably better not to touch that. So what was it before? It was 0.49, so about 0.5. Okay, let me go back to this keyframe. Put it on right tangent linear, so there's no funny motion it will be just nice and consistent or what you expect okay good so that's that one done now i want it to start returning back to the normal orientation i think it's a bit too slow coming up again so about here i want it to, to be pretty much vertical uh, so what can i do there let me have a look at uh, which ones are it this yes definitely good um perhaps like that uh, try a bit more. Does this do anything? A bit more, like this. Okay, well, how does that look? Okay, so the position needs to get sorted out as well. So 0 0.4 minus 0.46. So I'll put that straight away here. 0.4 minus 0.46. Okay, and 0.6. All right, so let's have a look at it now. Okay, so I don't, I shouldn't have it tilted to the right. I'm just looking at that. Let me also put this to constant. And from there, tangent constant, oh, linear rather, sorry. Let me go back there, set it to linear, good. Constant just means uh, that'll just be a sharp change to the next position and or whatever values are set there. Right, so that looks a, a little bit funny like that. So the way it sort of slowly rotates back into position, that is a bit strange. So let me uh, put it like this. Make it a bit more down. 
Yeah, I think that's a bit better. I move this as well. Slightly slower. Okay, so I'm just looking at what the whole thing looks like. It's quite a fast swing. Good. 0.25 seconds and a quarter of a second. It'll swing. And then it starts returning back and then comes right back to the normal position. Now, the only way to know is to really play it and see what it looks like. So that's the animation side done. Uh, now the animator needs to get set up. So we've got an idle animation and a swing animation. I need a uh, parameter, so let's add one. It's a trigger. I'll call it attack. Right, so from idle to swing, what causes it to happen? It'll be the attack condition. I don't want any exit time. Uh, and the transition duration, make it really small, like 0 0.01, so it immediately uh, moves and transitions into the swing, and it doesn't wait for the idle uh, to finish. Uh, okay, so let's see, um, with that done, I of course need a way back. And here I will use the exit time. I'll make it like 0.88. Now the animation, I didn't say I forgot to mention. I will add a, a keyframe, probably two keyframes. So one for the completion of the swing. You'll see later why that's required. And one for playing the swinging sound. All right, so let's just go back to the animator. We'll put that later. Uh, for the transition duration, make it like 0.1. Perhaps a bit less than 0 0.08, something like that. Or I'll just put it like 0 0.9. One, it's a bit of fiddling around, so I don't want that these boxes to appear like that. Let me just to change that. Good. Let's move this one too. All right, good. Okay, so I think that will do uh, the job. Right. So let me hit play here. Turn that on. Okay. So that's how it looks. Okay, so it, it's all right. It can be better. Of course, it needs a lot more fine-tuning to look a lot better. I almost felt it, it was a bit slow, maybe in the swing. I'll put it down to 0.25. That's just how I felt anyway. Okay, let me go back to this and hit play. Hit that. Okay, I think I can live with that. So it's not too slow and it's not too fast. So if it's too fast, it'll just look glitchy on the screen and look a bit funny. But if it was too slow, it would feel like what kind of a swing is that? Okay, so we've got our animation done and now we need to uh, prepare the scripts to really turn this into a melee weapon. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.